All right, Shalom. Call Allah Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace salutations unto the awful elect. Once again, I am the brother Yahweh All right. Today's topic will be entitled, The Wrath of the Lord. Shall there be evil in the, in the city? I'm going to repeat that again. The wrath of the Lord. Shall there be evil in a city? All right. And this is based on a, on a quote I took off, off the verse of Amos 3 and 6. All right. Where, where, the, where the prophet asked, Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? All right, so basically he's implying that that the Lord is not really all, you know what I'm saying, the, the Son of the Most High, a so-called Jesus, whose real name is Yahawashai. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, is, he is known throughout the Bible, Number one, as, as an austere man, all right? You look up that word austere, all right? It means a, a very stone-cold, hard person, all right? A, a, a man of a very, a very strict and, you know, a, a, a very strict and, how should I put it? A very, a very strict and 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 stout-hearted personality, an austere man. All right, and and number two, the the Lord is a man of war. Okay, you go to Exodus 15 and three, it tells you right there that the Lord is a man of war, but not not a man of peace. All right. Not a man of love. Not a man of peace. Not a man of love. But a man of war. Okay? Hold on a second. Salakia. I got demons messing with me here. All right. Hold on a minute. So basically, getting back to the subject, you know, the Lord as a man of, uh, you know, he can be very he can be he can be a man of love for his people only but not not for the white man and the other nations for the white man and the other nations he he, he is a he is an entity much to be feared and even by even by his own people all right and he is very much a a a a, a he is known as the king of terrors in the in the bible and he himself has said it in, in the book of Matthew, all right? M Matthew 10 and 34, if I'm not mistaken. Think not that I came on, um, think not that I came to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, so that's a real, those are words coming from someone, you know, those are words coming from someone who's a, who's a real, you know, many still see him as a prophet, you know, especially th th those of you fools out there that still think he's a white man and a soft-spoken white man, those of you that might still be in the so-called Catholic Church and all that, that these, uh, these corruptible religions which the, the word religio, by the way, really means, uh, you know, to keep back, hold back, and restrain, okay? 
All these so-called religions have really done their purpose on the planet Earth is to divide and to divide and keep our people, hold them back from the truth. Okay? Plain and simple. That uh, Salakia, there's a phone, there's a phone ringing in the background, but I will not, I repeat, I will not answer it right now. I will not answer the phone. That, that, that That's only Satan that worked for you. All right? All right. So getting back to my, uh, you know, I, I had to start over again because them, them, them demons, they, they try to, they try to keep a brother. They don't want me to do these shows. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, they do everything they can to cause a disruption. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 do, do this kind of shit, that kind of shit and so on. But basically, uh, the whole point I'm trying to make is that, you know, make no mistake about it, uh, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is, is, is not only a man, he's an entity to be, to take into very serious consideration. Uh, you, you must, you know, you would, you would ask of this, of the the head top uh, elders and apostles that they, they would they would tell you the exact same thing the lord is to be feared okay even they feared even they fear the lord that's why they 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 do the work that they do that's why they put up you know that's why they put up lord how many lord knows just how many videos a week you know, but preaching on Saturdays is not enough for them. And they encourage other people like myself to do the same thing. All right? To try and do multiple shows as much as you can a week. All right? And and, and that really comes from having fear of this entity up there, the, the most high, man. Because he, you know... I say it from my own experience, all right? Uh, the Lord is a terrible higher power, man. And, 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 and for any of you niggas out there that don't, don't take heed to this word, you don't want to, to, take, to take heed to this truth. You, you, you don't want to respect nor honor the Son of the Most High. Then he's going to blatantly... Uh, uh, blatantly uh he's going to blatantly reject you all right S spit you out of his mouth like the scripture says all right all right so so the lord is a man of war man and and and, and he he is a he is the king of terrors okay and and everything that you see happening on the planet earth right uh, all these multiple deaths, multiple destructions, a, a tragedy here, tragedy there. The Lord, all right, the Most High is, is the author of all these tragedies, man. He's, he's the one behind why so-and-so ended up being decapitated out there. Why so-and-so ended up getting shot to death. Why so-and-so ended up getting hit by a car. Or get or, or get crushed by an elevator. Those are all the will of the heavenly Father, man. All right. For those of you who are first coming into this thing, take a good look at that face right there. Take a good look at that image. It might be an artist's rendering, but it, it gives you it gives you a a, a better <coughs> it gives you a a better. Um, preview understanding all right what the what 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 the son of the most high what the lord really is man okay you take a good look at that face right there man that 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 face that face that man that entity he means business man he's not in he's, he's not he's not about bullshit he's not into any of the bullshit that that most of you niggas like playing he's 
He's coming back to destroy all of that, man. Okay? Now, I, I, I think I finished making my point, right? Now I'm going to go to this picture here, all right? Because to, today happens to be uh, Saturday, 9-9-2023, September 9th, 2023. And on Monday, uh, once again, we, we got another anniversary coming of, of what happened on September 11th, all right? September 11, 2001, all right? It, it's funny. It's funny how all these years have gone by already uh, since that event happened, all right? So so anyway, um, once again, there's another anniversary coming up of, of so-called 9-11, what, what happened on that day. Okay, hey, what happened on that day and, and I won't say much about it, but uh, I'm only bringing it as, as, an, ex as an example to, to let you know the terror of the Most High, man. To let you know the terror of the Lord. What happened on, on that day was, like I said earlier, what happened on that day was really the Lord's bidding, man. Okay, what, what happened on that day was really the will of the Supreme Being. It's in the book of it's in the book of Amos three and six, okay. Amos three and six, okay. I know that scripture by heart, but Lord willing, let let's look it up now. All right. Let's go to Blue Letter Bible. All right. All right. Salak it. Just bear with me a moment. Because I, I know that scripture by heart, all right? But basically it reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? So so the prophet, I just read the scripture by heart, because I, 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 I memorized it. I'm still going to look it up anyway. <coughs> All right? So really, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the Lord the Lord is known in, in the whole Bible, all right, as the king of terrors, man. You, you look it up in the book of Job, the, the 18th chapter, it tells you just that. The Lord, the, the Lord, and, hey, the, the Lord is known as the king of terrors. Okay, and he had uh, one of his uh, apostles, Paul, all right, war, 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 warn other people for, for out Israel and the rest of the world, okay? Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Persuade men what? To, to be afraid, to tremble, okay? To, to, to be aware of, of of the terrible power of this higher entity up here, man. Okay, the, the, the Lord, the Lord is to be feared, man. He, he, he is a, a, a fearful higher power. He, 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 he's more than a man. He, he's a supernatural higher being, man. Uh, he himself has said it in, 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 in the book of Isaiah, and I will not meet thee as a man. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. He's he's talking to Esau, the so-called white man right here. Because Esau likes to boast about his military and his technology and how he's trying to, to basically conquer the whole wide world. All right? With, 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 his, with his technology alone, all right? And, and, and all these evil purposes... That, that he's trying to 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 use that tech this technology with man you understand what I'm saying the the, the MOTB the mark of the beast being a perfect example of of these nefarious purposes that 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 that, that, that this wicked ruler has set up for this planet earth 
in these last days, man. And this is where the Lord is going to come in, all right, when all hell breaks loose, and he's, and he's going to meet this, this, this monkey that's currently proud ruling, he's going to meet him not as a man. Uh, coming back on a giant spaceship, man. Coming back on a giant size UFO, so you can understand. All right, so so the Lord, the, the Lord is, is the Lord is not to be, you know, hey, the Lord is not to be messed around with. He's not to be, he's not to be taken as a joke, man. Because a lot of you take him as a joke. You understand what I'm saying? This is why many of you end up in, in the conditions that, that you that that you currently or later on do in life, man. Because you don't take the you don't take the Lord seriously. You don't take this work seriously enough, man. Okay, and so and so basically he sees that attitude of in you and basically discounts whatever blessings or or, or or better purpose in life you, you may have once had, man. He can do that to a person. You understand what I'm saying? All right? So so getting back getting back to the scripture now, let, let, let's start with, with Amos 3 and, 3 and 6. Though I just read it by heart, right? <clears throat> Amos 3 and, and 6, all right? Okay. All right. I'm going to jump down to the sixth verse. Okay. And what does that say? Salakia. <clears throat> Amos 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it? Okay, so there you go. Shall, shall there be evil in a city, like what happened on so-called 9-11? All right, let me show you the picture again. All right. So-called 9/11. There, there goes the twin tire, the the twin towers. What was known as the twin towers being set on fire. Okay, by 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 allegedly by 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 a commercial jetliner, right? That that struck one of the towers. Okay, and 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 you see the ball of fire right there. That was the will of the Lord, man. Okay, that that was the will of, of the Lord, of the supreme being. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm reading it in the scriptures. And everything else that you see happening today, okay, everything else that you see happening today, let, let, let's, um, okay, let, let's, um, I already showed you a so-called 9-11, all right? I wasn't going to bring too much about that. Only as, as a small reminder that we're, we're in September once more. Another anniversary is, you know, I just wanted to make a, 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 minor, a minor mention, all right? Current events today, all right? Let's go to the evils that's happening right now as I speak, man. Okay, cause cause this was more than, than than twenty years ago already. But them evils are multiplying, man. They're multiplying. And they're and they're gonna continue multiplying, man, for you you know the, the nine, so called nine eleven, you understand what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't ain't no telling ain't no telling what, what these devils have, have in mind or what they have or, or what they have installed. As, as their next 9-11 uh, event. It's going to be, you, you would hear it from, from, even, from, from even the apostles and elders on down. That they, would, they will tell you straight up. All right? Well, whatever, whatever major event is going to happen, 
that 20 years after 9-11, that, that, was only, that was only the beginning of sorrows, okay? Well, I, I, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I am not a, a clairvoyant to try and tell you what, what the next major attack might be, but you best better believe that that's what our enemies have installed. That's what they have in store for, 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 for this society. They, they, have, they, have, they, have a, they have something worse coming. They have, they have something much worse up their sleeve for this society. All right? That's going to make so-called 9-11 look, look more like a, like, like a walk in the park, man. You understand what I'm saying? All right? Uh, for first of all, the, the, the technology that, that we're in today, that 20 years later, is a little more advanced than it was in, in 2001. There's better personal computers today than there was in 2001. All right? That there, that there's, more, there's, more, there's more gadgets like, like laptops and, and, and Android phones and all that. Those things did not yet exist in 2001. The cell phones were already out there, but they were not anything like today. You understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, so the technology has increased. And with that technology, something even greater would happen. All right? You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Current events today. Okay. All right, cause cause them 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 evils, you know, the them evils are are multiplying, man. Okay, them evils are multiplying. All right, right here on CNN.com, that the, this ain't much talked about, but let 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 let, let let's hit that. Let's hit that uh, article right there. All right. This is talking about a, a current and a current event that that happened in, in Morocco, and and one of the countries uh, near um, in, in the Middle East. All right, and 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 North or East Africa, I think. A damn earthquake, man! A, a six point eight magnitude earthquake. All right. So just bear, just bear with, uh, just bear with me a moment, as I read this article. There it goes, right there. Powerful earthquake strikes Morocco. All right, killing more than one thousand three hundred, and damaging <coughs> Salakia. And damaging historic Marrakech, whatever that was. Okay, powerful earthquake strikes Morocco. All right, so once again, who was the will? Whose will was it that that earthquake would strike that, that, that country? Whose will was it that, that so and so many people, you see the number right there, that they would perish in this earthquake, man? Okay. You're looking at that face right there. Yahweh Bahashan Yahweshai. That that was his will. Okay, and, and let's go to the scripture again. Amos 3 and 6, right? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in my city and the Lord have not done it? So whatever evil has happened in the past, and continues happening today is the will of the Lord, man. The will of, of, of the supreme being. All right. So don't ask me why, why, why is God like that? I thought he I thought he was a God of love. I thought God was all love. God is love. God is love. Jesus is love. No, look, man, forget about this love trip, all right? You're in the wrong place, my man. You're in the wrong place if you have that kind of mentality, all right? You're in the wrong place right now, okay? It tells you very clear 
that's why most of these scriptures are not read and 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 your favorite churches, man. You think them pastors don't know any better? All right, they rather give you smooth things. Oh yeah, God, God is love and all that. He's all love. Well, if he's all love, if if God is really all love, right? Then then why is this article right here? Okay, why? Why was there this powerful earthquake in Morocco with 1,300 deaths if, if so-called God ain't all love, man? Why did that happen? If God is really all love, you, 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 you answer me that question. Why, why did that happen then? Why did that happen? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to give you the why, okay? I'm trying to break down the why it happened. Don't ask me why it happened. I'm trying, I'm trying to break it down to you already. All right? Plain and simple. I'm trying to break it down why it happened. All right? Okay? Shall there be, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Okay? The Lord did it. That was his will why that earthquake went down. Like why that earthquake went down and struck them heathen down there like that, man. Play them simple, y'all. All right, okay. And look at the the the, the, hey, the, the, the this is part of the devastation that happened there, man. Shit. Look at that, man. That looks like a video playback, but I I'm I'm not going to play it. All right, for, for those of you that might be interested, just go to CNN.com. Go, go to CNN.com. <coughs> so like it. Go to CNN.com and, 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 and you will find what you're looking for right there. This is part of the devastation that happened there, man. Okay, so I'm going to read only part of, of this article. All right, from CNN, rescuers were digging through rubble in remote mountainous areas of Morocco on Saturday after more than 1,300 people were killed and the deadliest earthquake to strike the country in decades. The 6.8 magnitude earthquake sh shook Morocco's high Atlas Mountain range shortly after 11 p.m. Local time on Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, at the relatively shallow depth of 18.5 kilometers, 11.4 miles, the United States Geological Survey said. The epicenter was located about 72 kilometers, 7 miles southwest of Marrakech, a city of some 840,000 people and a popular tourist destination. At least 13,005, at least 1,305 people were killed and 1,220 others in critical condition, Morocco State TV Al Aola said, citing the Interior Ministry. So there you go. All right. And an earthquake at a hey, an earthquake like that could happen somewhere in the United States anytime soon, man. It could it could happen in San, in San Francisco, in Los Angeles, all right. California has always been synonymous with earthquakes, all right. But if if the Lord ever pleases, this is why it's important for many of us to, to pray and stay right. You know, have him be at, at our side, man. If if the Lord wants to, he, he could make an earthquake happen in New York City, man. And if that happens, you can bet your ass to, that all of us will be gone then. All right? All of us will be out of here already if, if an earthquake hits this place, man. All right? Play and simple, y'all. This is why it's important. To fear, fear the Lord, man. Fear the Most High. All right. 
That's why I chose to, to name, that's why I chose to give this topic the name, the wrath of the Lord. Shall there be evil in the city? All right? And A, this time that we're living in right now, until the Lord comes back and he cracks them clouds open, nothing but evils are going to continue happening, man. Evil here, evil there, okay? Well, simultaneously, one bad thing after the other, man. All right? Last, last weekend, I did a show called Things Are Heating Up. And it's, it's going to keep leading to that boiling point, man. Okay? You, you see, you see the the, the, the war in, in Ukraine is still yet happening after one one year later. <coughs> all right, and all of that could escalate to World War Three, man. Okay, so so let me um. Uh, so I just read the scripture right here. Let's continue with the scriptures. So let's go to Isaiah forty-five now. All right. Okay. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45 and verse 7. All right. To give you a, 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 a better idea, the higher power that, that you're dealing with. All right. The true nature of so-called God. The true nature of so-called Jesus. Here it is right here. These are the words, <coughs> Kalakia. These are the words from the higher power himself. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So there you go. Okay? Once again, what, what happened on so called 9 11? Okay? Any other uh, 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 so-called national tragedy before and after that, okay, it's, it's the will of the supreme being, okay? It's, it's, it's what he says right here. I formed the light. He, he created the, the heavens. He created the earth, the universe, okay? And he, and he created darkness, man, okay? He created light to shine over darkness, Okay, he created peace, and he could also create evil. Right now, we're in the time of evil, and who's creating this evil? I just read it right there. The Heavenly Father himself is the author of every, every so-called bad thing you see happening out there right now. It's the will of the Supreme Being. No, no more questions asked, okay? No more questions asked. Okay, plain and simple. It's all his will, man. All right, plain and simple. This is the higher power that you're dealing with, that all of us are dealing with and trying to serve. All right, now, Second Corinthians now, all right, the words of the Apostle Paul. Second Corinthians, New Testament, all right. 2 Corinthians 5 and 11, all right? 5 and 11, 2 Corinthians, all right? And what does that say? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I, and I trust are made manifest in your conscience. So, so there you go, all right, that Paul trusted that, 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 that it should be made manifest in the consciousness of other men, all right, to be aware and know the terror of the, of the Lord power, man, of the most high power, okay, because if, 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 you, if you just want to keep doing your own thing, all right, do your own silliness out there, not have any faith and just go by 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 your own will, then then the heavenly Father, he's gonna hey, he's gonna this hey, he's he's just gonna just straight up reject you, man. 
and cause you to perish out there, man. All right, and, and guess what? He 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 could he, he's gonna laugh at your calamity and your death too. All right, hey, that's that that that's the higher that that that's the true nature of this higher power. That hey that that you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans were meant to serve on this earth, man. All right, that, that that's one of the reasons we went down as a nation. Because we turned our back. We turned our back on this face right there. We did not want to serve the, our, our creator. We did not want to serve our maker. This is why he, he, he laid, this is why he laid all of us so-called people of color to shame in this great white country, man. All right. Okay. All right. Play them simple, man. This is why he's made it hard. This is why he's made it so hard for, for many of us so-called people of color, man. Okay, and, and he's delighted in bringing these evils too now. That's the kind of higher power that you must, uh, 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 sir, obey and serve, man. Okay? <clears throat> okay, knowing therefore the terror of the Most High, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also made manifest in your conscience. Okay? The words of the Apostle Paul when, when he traveled to the country uh, known as Corinth and, and tried to teach uh, as well as warn uh, other Israelites that, that lived over there. All right, now let's go to Sephaniah. Let's end it with Sep uh, with Sephaniah, and after that, one more scripture. All right, Sephaniah. Let's see if I may look that up here real quick. All right. Okay. All right. I did find. Okay, so Sephaniah, I'm going to read verses 14 through 18. The great day of the Lord is near, it is near and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Okay, the, the mighty man shall cry bitterly, meaning, meaning Esau's great white military. Okay. The the, 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 the the great white military of Europe, the the, 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 the the military of the heathen nations of NATO or BRICS, whatever they want to call themselves now, they're going to cry bitterly in that day, man. Okay? Verse 15. <coughs> that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress. A day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Okay, so for those of you that thought that that so-called 9/11 was really something, that was oh, that was only a prelude of what's yet to come, of what's yet to happen. That will make what that will make that whole day. Seem like it never happened because it's going to be, you know, it's going to be so much worse, man. Okay? Plain and simple. It's going to be worse. Whether you delight hearing it or not, it's the will of the Supreme Being, man. Okay? But for those of us who are in this truth, all right, for those whom the Lord deems his, his honest elect and all that, he's going to form a shield around his elect in that day. Whatever, whatever, what, however, uh, however greater evil that, that that day might bring, the Lord will be with his people. He will be with his elect. All right? He's going to shield and protect his elect. That's the same thing he did when all the calamities fell on ancient Egypt, man. Okay? Just before Pharaoh went down and all that. Okay, all right, plain and simple. 
Verse 16, a day of the trumpet and the alarm against the thin cities and against the high towers. Okay, a trumpet and an alarm. Right now, the, the, the trumpet is being blown. An alarm, a trumpet and an alarm is being blown against the thin cities. Okay, how, how is this trumpet being blown? How is that alarm being blown? Okay, it, it, be, it, it begins with great millstone. It begins with great men like Tahar, Gabar, Ariyam, Love, okay, Raka, okay, and ever since 2007, 2008, they, they went on the highways and byways, okay, they, they started warning the people of everything that, 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 that's getting ready to happen today, and they started pushing, they started pushing the word on, on the internet by way of YouTube, okay? So that's how that alarm and trumpet is being blown, has been blown metaphorically as a warning to you people out there, man, okay? As a warning to those of you that 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 may that may be watching my own show, okay? A trumpet and an, an alarm is being blown against the fenced cities, against against Israelites that live and and all of the white man's uh, so-called major cities throughout throughout America, okay? Whether it's New York, okay? Whether it's Miami, whether it's Memphis, whether it's Los Angeles whether it's Dallas, okay, whether it's North Carolina, wherever, where, all right, okay. Verse 17, and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord, okay. So, hey, the, the, the white man is sinning against the Lord, and he knows it. By, by turning his people away from the Lord for, for one thing, not wanting them to find out their true nationality, and then he wants to enforce his freaky agendas on, on, on the real holy people of the Lord, if you know where I'm getting at, okay? The, this is why the scripture is saying what it's saying right here. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men, Okay, so a lot of these cities, like it or not, okay, a lot of these cities, like it or not, are going to be shut down, okay? It's, it's going to become pretty similar or pretty much like, like them Purge movies. That's why they push these movies like that out, man, okay? Nothing but chaos and distress going on in society, okay? Because the, these elites want to want to bring about a dystopian society, okay? So 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 they want to bring about their new world order out of chaos, order out of chaos, or, uh, order or, order of chaos, order out of chaos, okay? And I will bring distress upon men <coughs> that they shall walk like blind men. Because they have sinned against the, the Most High, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even the speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. And how is he going to make that speedy riddance? By way of World War III. All right? Thermal nuclear Armageddon, so you can understand. Okay? Now, I'm going to end it with Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs real quick. All right? For those of you that, that feel that you have to get right, you need to get right, you should, you should, you should have the urge to get right. You better do it now before it's too late. That's why I'm bringing up this scripture. Proverbs 9. 
Okay, and I'm going to finish off, read verses 10 through 12. All right. And what does that say? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Okay, so so you, you fearing the higher power, that's a picture of the higher power right there. You fearing the Lord, <clears throat> all right? You fearing the, the Son of the Most High, the, the greatest entity that, 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 that ever will be in this whole earth and universe, okay? With that begins wisdom and understanding, man. That's why many niggers end up the way they do. They end up getting shot at, okay? They end up dead on the street. They end up getting arrested or whatever because they don't fear. They don't fear the Most High, man. They don't fear the Most High. So, so the Lord unleashes His wrath. He puts His soul in the heart of the white man to do these things to these Negroes, man, for being disobedient. All right, plain and simple. All right. So once again, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. Y'all just heard that, right? Verse 12. For if thou if if thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. But if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. Okay? And, and let me just say this uh, before closing. I just read that scripture right there. For those of you that might be aware or have heard of, of this nigga called Brother Polite, the so-called Brother Polite, you saw what just happened to him, right? So-called Brother Polite. He's behind bars right now, man. Why? Because, hey, I just read the scripture earlier. He did not have the fear of the Lord in him. He wanted to go by this by this Africa shit. He wanted to to have he wanted hey the, the man was prideful, man. He wanted to try and set up his own thing and it backfired on him, man. And 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 then he spoke against the, the true men of the most high, the great honorable elders and prophets of Great Millstone. He spoke against them. He scorned against them. At one point, he even threatened their lives, man, so saying that, that he wanted to, to go out and shoot them brothers, man. And look at him now. The nigga is behind bars. Why? Because he did not have the fear of the Most High in him. All right? Plain and simple, y'all. Plain and simple.